Is it possible that a really average human can do amazing things and have amazing progression in their career? And the answer is yes. I submit myself as Exhibit A. Back in the 80s, I was a cashier, and it was at that time when I had the first inkling that, ooh, I might want to get into electronics. It was because while I was a cashier standing all day doing cashier work, there was periodically a person coming in to work on the cash registers, and they were digital. And so he would come in with his nice car, it looked like a nice car to me at that time, and his nice clothes, and his briefcase, his silver case with his tools in it. And I thought to myself, that looks like a pretty good job. I wonder if I could do that. And at the same time, at the same period of time, there were commercials on the TVs that were in that hardware store that were talking about Control Data Institute, get a career in computers. So I thought, mm, I'll look into it, and I did. So I got a loan for five or $6,000 back then in the 80s, which was a lot of money, and I went to this course. I was committed. I had the skin in the game. I put my money down, and I went for a one-year course. And I learned all about how to calculate the, or tell what the resistance was on a resistor. I learned how to calculate the inductance of a circuit, and a whole bunch of other stuff that I didn't really use all that much, but I did learn a lot of useful information, and I learned how to learn. I got a job out of that into EDS, Electronic Data Systems, in El Segundo, California, and that's where my career started back in the 80s. Now, as time progressed, technologies developed, I just kept on learning. So if the topic of the day was laser printers or IBM PCs or PS2s or whatever it was, I just continued to learn more and more about that. Well, around the 90s, Cisco was a huge player and networking was becoming more and more important. And so once again, I thought to myself, I wonder if I could do that. And the answer is, yes, you can. And so what I did was I invested in some routers. I bought three routers. The total price was around $4,000 out of pocket. So I bought these routers because I was committed. And I learned how to configure them and work with them. And then I got my certifications in Cisco from like CCNA all the way up to CCIE in route switch and security. Now, the reason I tell you that is because anyone, if they're going the right direction and they keep moving their feet, can progress. We'd like to share with you in this nugget are some specific tools and techniques that we can use to advance our skills with our focus in this nugget on how we can get our skills up to snuff and progress in the world of security and cybersecurity. So one of the first things I invite you to do as we're going to progress our skills in the world of security is to number one, commit. By committing to yourself and your loved ones and make it public, heck, put it on social media, let them know you're committing to learning some new skills in a certain area. And I would also recommend committing 20 hours. See, by, by committing 20 hours, here's the secret. By committing 20 hours, we're not going to just give up after 30 minutes or 90 minutes of time working with something. There's a little bit of a learning curve. And if we commit to 20 hours, say to ourselves, you know what, I'm going to study this for 20 hours. And when it's done, I'm going to reevaluate. And we will be amazed at what happens if we spend 20 hours over a period of several weeks, maybe half hour a day here, half hour a day there. But if we spend the 20 hours, we're going to have a really measurable different set of skills than we did if we had done nothing. The second item would be to clearly identify what you want to focus on or study, as opposed to just saying, I think I'm just going to improve my security skills. Focus on some kind of a roadmap or a blueprint that can keep you on track. One way of doing that is through certifications. It's not the only way, but by looking at certifications and what those certifications are requiring, that can provide us a roadmap of things to study, including things that we hadn't considered before. And then once we identify what we're going to be studying and we've committed the time to do it, We'd also want to acquire some study materials. And we all come from different backgrounds and different experiences, and we learn differently. But there's lots of great resources. There's books, there's college courses, there might be YouTube videos, online classes, physical classes you attend. CBT Nuggets is also a great option for learning new things and having a lot of fun doing it. So come check out our courses at CBT Nuggets as well. And the third step is to do it. Put in the time, do the study, have some fun doing it. And as you are studying it, track your progress and share what you've learned with others. Because I've learned this over the years. The more I share something with somebody else, explain it, detail it, the better I'm going to understand it. It also helps me to identify areas that I may be weak in. Like, whoa, I didn't explain that very well. I need to go back and revisit that. And an amazing phenomenon happens as we improve our skills and get better and better. It also gives us better visibility as far as what we don't know and additional topics that would be valuable to us that we hadn't previously considered. So regarding some ideas, this is not a complete list by any means, but regarding some ideas of blueprints and guidelines that we could follow to learn more information, we definitely want to realize that we need a basic 
IT entry level understanding of how systems work, how computers work, how networks work, how administration works before we go on to securing those types of systems. So some certifications that deal with IT information technology entry level would be CompTIA's A+, CompTIA's IT Fundamentals+, Plus, and CompTIA's Network+. Plus. And one of the benefits of CompTIA is that they are vendor neutral, so they're not pushing or promoting one specific product over another. Now, speaking of vendor specific, there's also a great IT entry level networking certification from Cisco, and that is Cisco's CCENT, or they also have the CCNA for routing and switching. So CCENT is like half of the CCNA, and the CCNA is overarching and covers CCNT and beyond. But it's all about basic IT fundamentals regarding networking and routing and switching. So let's presume that a person has either these certifications or the equivalent knowledge, and they want to get into security. We can use the same technique as far as the blueprints for some popular certification exams as guidelines on what we should study and then start to study them. And for the entry level for security, we have CompTIA Security Plus, which is a really good foundation for security. There's also some from Cisco. There's Cisco Cybersecurity Fundamentals, and there is CCNA Security, which because it's from Cisco, the CCNA Security is very centric to their products, which by itself isn't a terrible thing, but you should be aware that it's Cisco centric regarding their products and security with their products. Also, one more here on the entry level for security is the GISF, which is the GIAC Information Security Fundamentals. And then once we have that level of knowledge and expertise and understanding, then we can move on to some of the more intermediate and advanced certifications. Another benefit of certifications is that not only can we learn using their blueprints, but if we want to actually go get the certifications by taking the exams and passing the tests, that can demonstrate that we have at least some level of knowledge regarding those topics. And the other huge benefit, besides having certification letters behind our name, is the actual understanding and awareness of those topics that we can then apply in a production environment with an end result and goal of making our environments more secure by applying best practices. In this video, we've identified that we can improve our skills in virtually any area that we want to by following three basic ideas. Number one, commit to it. Two, know what we're gonna study. In the case of security, identifying blueprints with topics that we can follow. And three, to get in there and do it. And on behalf of CBT Nuggets and myself, we would love to be part of your journey. Meanwhile, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.